So I moved the camera from up there to down here. I think that'll be a better view. I can even use it for off-roading. Don't you think? Maybe. I think that might be better. I had enough wire to make it all the way too, with only inches to spare. Looks like I gotta raise it up a bit, huh? Try it like that. Yeah, it looks better. Now we get a full view of everything. I think that'll work out better. So with the camera up front now, you can see the view of more of the front of the vehicle. We'll do a little bit of off-roading here. Let's see what it looks like. Definitely see if there's any animals in the woods, that's for sure. So this would be good for hunting. Well, everybody wanted to see what this would look like in the snow. Maybe we'll see some wildlife in the back here. And of course this camera works way better in the dark. My new mounting location shows a lot more, that's for sure. Not sure if we're going to see any wildlife. I hope so. Should probably throw some snow on there and see what it looks like, huh? That's with snow packed completely on the screen. I don't know how it's going to see through that. And it doesn't. I didn't expect it would. But the good thing is it generates heat. So it'll melt the snow off. No Sam Squanch yet. Oh, got a tree down. A little too big to climb. I mean, I could try it. I have to put her in low. And we'll lock the front and rear. Disconnect the sway bar. No problem. It's a Jeep thing. No Sam squanches. No animals. The only animal was me. So in the snow, might be best to take that cover off and run the camera this way. So if there is some snow build up, when it heats up, it's not going to stick on that little ledge. It'll just fall off. I think I'm going to leave that off for the winter. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.